Hi guys and welcome to this week's video and it's all around the hot weather. In the UK we've got a heat wave and these are my five top tips about what you can do with cloth nappies during this hot weather. Firstly, I don't know if you realise but I'm in a completely different room. It's not my usual setup because we are renovating our bedroom so I am doing it DIY so the wallpaper is down and I thought it would be really ugly to show you guys like plaster wall behind me so I thought I'd uh, move into a different room. Quickly before we start if you do like this video please do give me a thumbs up it really goes a long way because I do these in my spare time also work full time so if you are also interested in the makeovers that I've mentioned around the bedroom makeover um, we've moved into a new house a few months ago and you want to see all the renovations extensions and things like that that are happening I'd love for you to come on the journey Journey with us so do subscribe if you're interested so my top tip for this weather particularly because there's like sunshine beaming it's over 30 degrees in the UK which is abnormal um, you might be tempted to put your cloth nappies on the washing line um, I just wanted to basically give you a word of caution because this is something that I've learned from my own experience I did this the other day and then found my material a little bit scorched so imagine like putting your cloth nappies and your inserts on like the radiator when it's cold it really like it sort of like burns the material so that is what I found so if you are going to put your washing up on the washing line underneath the direct sunlight all I'm just gonna say is that be careful I don't recommend it because it might ruin your material like it did with mine so I'm just trying to share my experience with you guys and try and make sure that you keep your bundle away from heat so my second tip is putting your nappies, so especially your soiled nappies, into a bucket of water. So especially if there's poo, you don't want it to dry, and it dries so quickly in this weather, we don't want it to stain the nappy. So make sure that you're putting it into a bucket of water. Um, I would actually recommend you putting any soiled nappy, so even if it's wee, because I've noticed because of the heat, it just starts smelling a lot quicker. So in order to prevent smells around your house, um, I usually pop my cloth nappies into the washing machine so by actually putting it into a bucket of water you're just able to protect them from smells from stainage and to make sure that by the time you put those nappies into the washing machine they do get cleaned much much easier so imagine you're washing up and how you put washing and dishes into a bucket to soak um, to get rid of like the the residue like the the bits the food and stuff like that so it's a little bit in a similar way and I do excuse my dog it just seems to be everything's happening I'm down the stairs as well so he's just he's just joining me look, look. <laughs> Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm trying to prevent you and your stash from having stainage smells from your house smelling. So I'm just um, suggesting that you keep it in a cold water, preferably if you can, and away from any direct sunlight. Point number three is a little bit more complex or a little bit more information will be needed and more research on your part. So this is basically about checking the materials of your cloth nappies. Firstly, let's go into the fact that cloth nappies are so much better during the hot weather for your baby compared to a disposable nappy. Most of it is because basically a disposable nappy has things like plastic, it's got materials that are man-made and basically heat up so much quicker. So basically the idea is that your baby wears things like cotton and hemp. They're just like perfect for the hot weather. They are naturally absorbent, so they're great at absorbing like sweat they're great at absorbing a wee and moisture basically and then there's the properties around breathability the fact that those materials are able to let air in and out so making sure that your baby's skin can breathe especially in this hot weather so 
I don't know if you've noticed, but my whole channel is around reusable nappies. So the fact that I do recommend them, I guess I am just naturally drawn to them, I believe, in their eco-friendliness, in the fact that they're so much better for baby's skin, and the fact that they save you money. So all in all, I do recommend you guys doing cloth nappies even in the summer months. So when it comes to things like cotton and hemp, they're the ideal materials for your baby to be using so for those cloth nappies to be so that you can put those on not worrying about the basically the heat and any rashes or anything like that so my toddler who is two years and four months old he's been wearing cloth nappies non-stop even in this heat so we had a heat wave and are having a heat wave for the last couple of weeks and he has not a single time had a rash so touch wood I believe that is due to reusable nappies. Apparently there's so much less or few, so fewer rashes when you're using cloth nappies as well. So from your part, you need to find out whether your cloth nappies are the good material. So like, are they cotton? Are they hemp? Like what are your inserts made from? Like try and familiarize yourself with the materials that are being used uh, in the cloth nappies that you've got. The other thing I was going to mention is around fleece. So I am basically in between two minds. I understand and I've been told by you guys, by my viewers, that um, fleece is great at absorbing and keeping away moisture. So whether it's wee, whether it's soilage, whether it's sweat and keeping that away from the skin. However, I personally associate fleece material with winter because it's so much warmer, it's softer, it's like kinder on the skin in that sense, the fact that it just keeps it warm. Um, so from my personal opinion, I would steer away from nappies with any inner lining that has like fleeciness. I don't know whether that's right or not, but that's something that works for us. So I recommend that you guys try it out and see how your baby reacts like do they mind it are they actually do they prefer keeping being kept dry or are they actually kept really warm by the fleece and the nappy that is basically holding it all together so that's my recommendation around that materials and stuff like that so make sure to comment down below let me know which ones you think are really great so in terms of materials and cloth nappies I'd love to find out which one specifically that you prefer during the heat wave and the summer weather. So my next recommendation is around swim nappies. They're absolutely perfect because it's literally like a cover. It's a similar sort of material to like your swimming um, costume. So the fact that it dries quickly, it's breathable, um, it's great to get like soaking wet. So get the paddling pool out put your babies and kids in the swim nappy and have a bit of fun and don't worry about the fact that um, it might expand too much or like it might get hot and overheated like a disposable nappy would. So yeah, I definitely recommend cloth nappies and especially the swimming reusable nappies as well. So this last point is probably one that we're struggling with the most because I know that I struggle during the night time so what kind of nighttime nappy should you be using? So my tip here is specifically for the nighttime and keeping your babies cool and comfortable during those hours that are just can be muggy, can be really uncomfortable. So basically what I do is I don't put any PJs or tops on my son. I just literally put a cloth nappy on um, and the ones that we usually use are the, the two favorite which is so it's the bells bums nighttime nappy and the other one is the reuser bells um nighttime nappy so those two are currently our favorites and what i would recommend is just make sure that um they still got the cover on um a fleece it would work very well as well so if you are using like a nighttime nappy that's got fleece on it just keeps them dry as possible during the nighttime yes i know what i've mentioned earlier about fleece about keeping them too warm but actually during the nighttime when they might wee without realizing and you're not going to change them as often i feel like it's important to keep them as dry as possible so actually fleece works really well in this sense but as i've mentioned before just make sure to test it for you yourself for your baby to see what works for you guys and how sensitive their skin might be 
Either way though, better than disposables because they're really comfortable in terms of like breathability. They don't have any plastic in it. They don't have any man-made materials in it. So they don't expand and things like that. So something that I do realize that we've started to do recently because of the heat wave perhaps, or maybe because he's getting older, um, it could be basically we're using less inserts in the nighttime nappies. So we're not, it's not as bulky and it's not as uh, uncomfortable, I guess. Um, because if you've seen my video around like him being a heavy wetter during the night time i do feel like that's improved a lot but it's also because it's so hot we're like more dehydrated i guess and we're not drinking at, or even if we're drinking a lot it's still like because it's so hot our skin obviously is evaporating all of that during the sweat and stuff like that but anyway the point is the fact that he isn't needing as many inserts as he did before so they're not as chunky and I do just recommend just having a nighttime nappy on using like the sets that they come with so the Bells Bums one comes with like an insert and it comes with like a cover at the top as well that's fleecy um, and things like that so to keep them um, as dry as possible and keeping in obviously the soilage and then you use the cover on top of that so the cover is very much like the swim nappy material as well it's just like a, a it's sort of waterproof kind of cover so it just keeps it all nice and contained and he seems very comfortable um, and no complaints so far so fingers crossed it's going to be exactly the same for you guys Basically guys, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm dying from the heat and I hope that these five top tips really help you guys out during this heat wave. Thank you so much for watching. Nice and short video today. So I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Bye.